Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Platform. It's my honor to have back with me someone who is a very dear friend and someone who I believe is the top naturopathic physician in our country and, in fact, the world, Dr. Peter Glidden. Uh, for those of you who haven't tuned in before, this is, I believe, our 29th in the series of empowering you. And not big pharmaceutical companies, not big insurance companies, not big medicine like the AMA, but empowering you with information that the, the deep state that runs the medical industrial complex, they don't want you to have because they don't want you empowered. They want big pharma, big insurance, big medicine empowered. They don't want you empowered in the way we empower you is providing you information and education on what you can do to have your body work for you and not against you. You know, one of the points that Dr. Glidden drills home time and time again in all these videos is um, your body has an inherent mechanism to make itself better, to heal itself, and to keep its, it keep its position, if you will, in the most functioning, um, efficient machine possible. Unfortunately, we come in contact with things in our environment, and that includes the food we drink and or eat and many of the things we drink and come in contact with that takes insults, impacts our bodies. And this is where Dr. Glidden's expertise comes in. He shows you how to optimize the machine that's inside your body to make you well, to make you healthy. The topic of today's presentation is uh, hol the holistic approach and an update on what we've all been facing from an infectious disease standpoint, the latest being the pandemic of the coronavirus. A little background on Peter. He attended Williams College, obtained his Bachelor of Science in Pre-Medical Studies from the uh, University of Massachusetts. He obtained his doctoral degree in naturopathic medicine from Bastyr University outside of Seattle. He's a member of the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians, and he has practiced in private practice naturopathic medicine and has been licensed to do so since 1992. Now, in addition to Peter's clinical work, outstanding clinical work, he is a fantastic author. He has two books. They're available on Amazon, and until the end of March, it's my understanding, they're on sale for 50% off. Now, this should be the foundation of your medical library, and they are of ours in our home. Everybody is sick, and I know why, and attempt to cure with holistic medicine. In addition, Peter is hosting a um, seminar that's going to be available for folks if they'd like to sign up. Um, and he'll, he'll talk a little bit more about that with some of the leaders in, in naturopathic medicine and holistic medicine. Peter, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Platform. Hey, Dave. It's always fun spending time with you. I appreciate the opportunity very much. So, Pete, uh, educate our listeners on the seminar you're doing. Video oh, well, so, all right. So thank you. I appreciate that opportunity. A little shameless self-promotion, right? <laughs> Go for it. So, so I've, you know, there's craziness, right? Everybody's in a frenzy in the world now. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. The, the, you know, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. And from the naturopathic point of view, from the holistic point of view, there's nothing to be worried about. You shouldn't be more worried about this than the normal influenza virus that happens, you know, once a year. Uh, and nonetheless, because most people don't even know how to pronounce naturopathy, let alone know what naturopathic medicine is or can do or what it takes to become a licensed uh, naturopathic doctor, I have interviewed three of the world's leading naturopathic doctors and one of the world's leading holistic medical researchers uh, by way of just giving people a little bit of insight you know like uh, the, the kind of like a backstage pass to the broader uh, subject here of naturopathic medicine and we, we we spoke specifically with each of these people about strategies that they use in their own practices and these people are the the top of the top of their game in licensed naturopathic medicine and holistic medical research these are these are like the tiger woods right uh, mm -hmm. of, of this of this arena kobe bryant rest in peace of this arena to get their insight into 
their view of it and how they treat it with their patients. And so it's really, it was my, um, my intention here to, you know, spread some oil on the troubled waters to calm things down um, and just to help the general public have a, a, a broader, better sense of what really goes on um, in applied, licensed and regulated naturopathic medicine, where it, when it's finally all put together, it's, it's about a three hour long presentation, for goodness sakes, jam packed with information, a lot of insight. And we'll be advertising for it at um, OperationFreedomHealth.com. So stay tuned. So if they go to OperationFreedomHealth.com, you'll have a link where folks can uh, sign up for the video and, 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 and watch it. Yeah, it's going to be an on-demand title, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to charge a little bit of money up front for it be to, just to defray all the production costs. It was kind of a big deal. Um, but yeah, people will be able to sign up for it and watch it. And once you purchase it, you'll be able to watch it forever. And I'm really, I'm really pretty excited about it, you know, because people, I'm, I'm really the only person in naturopathic medicine that's out in front in social media. True. And, you know, people get tired of Dr. Glidden and then they don't know that, you know, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants really. And that there's a lot of insight and information to learn from my colleagues, and so this was my this was my uh, attempt to build a bridge over these troubled waters, and just to help to to bring down the anxiety, you know, mm -hmm. by a notch or two. That, and it's it's just it's ridiculous what's happening now, Dave. I'm I can't even watch the news anymore. <laughs> well, that's a good thing because that could be hazardous to your health, right? The butt off lamestream fake media. And we'll have a link on operationfreedomhealth.com. That will support Dr. Glidden's platform as well as the production cost of that video that uh, uh, he and his team put into that. You know, I, I want to run a quote by you that uh, President Trump came up the, came out with the other day. Uh, and it was when he was um, he's weighing the um, easing at the stay-at-home restrictions. Uh, to address some of this economic chaos we're going through. He has a balancing act here between the, if you will, the public health side and the economic side of doing what's best for the country. He made the following statement, Pete, and I want your, your take on it. Quote, we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself, end quote. And a part of the cure that's been missing, and this is not a, a, a dig at the president at all, no, but when I'm when I listen to folks speak about what can be done, and and you and I did a video I think nine or ten weeks ago, that still holds the test of time, you know, washing your hands, nutrifying, olive leaf extract, and the like, and, but it was about building up your immune system to be a fortress against the attack of not just a coronavirus, but as you mentioned, the flu. Uh, any type of pathogen, any type of a bacteria, any type of a protozoan, a parasite, the stronger our immune system. But when I watch people, the issue of nutrifying their body, which as you have described in the past, is an incredible machine of health and wellness, but it loses some of its engine, not engine, it loses some of its fuel. During well, its it's completely course. it's completely missed in the mainstream yeah. and and mainstream medical doctors number one and you know like yourself I mean you know thank God for general anesthesia and the sterile technique mm -hmm. and surgery when it's necessary and insulin for goodness sakes but conventional medical doctors and you know the American Medical Association the pharmaceutical industry they have no conceptual idea whatsoever nor any even belief structure based upon foundation medical nutrition and naturopathic principles it, it does not exist and you know this is i think the this lack of information and, and you know this false notion that the human body can just survive by just eating from the three food groups or is it four food groups now or is it five food groups right they change that right. yardstick all the time right. the that notion that the human body can get everything that it needs just from eating is erroneous. And I would argue it's caused more suffering and death than all world wars combined. And this is the strength and the skill set, the clinical skill set that my profession brings to the table. And and it it's it's really important that people understand this, right? It is. And it's and it's not rocket science. I mean, we we do this with our cars. 
We do this with our animals. I mean, just if you have a dog or a cat, take out the cat food or the dog food and read the ingredients. They're, your animals are more nutrified than you are <laughs> because they put that stuff in the dog food and in the cat food on purpose. <laughs> and that was done in large part, by the way, by the research that my colleague, um, the guy that I studied with for the last 10 years, Dr. Joel Wallach, it was all based on his research. I mean, they doubled the life expectancy of the human do of the dog. They doubled the life expectancy, not by genetic manipulation or breeding, but they did it with just putting more nutrients into the dog food, for goodness sakes. And this is this is a very, very, very important subject. It's completely lost mm -hmm. on the general public because mainstream medicine is blind to it, just com completely blind to it. And, you know, again, it's not rocket science. I mean, if you if you were going to drive up a mountain in, uh, you know, a snowstorm and, and you had to drive t 10 miles up a mountain in a snowstorm in a car, well, you could put air in the tires. Well, that would be one thing to do, which is equivalent to, you know, washing your hands in the face of the, of the, the coronavirus epidemic. Right. Or you could put winter tires on the car. You could put chains on the car. You could put extra gasoline in the tank in case you got stuck so you could keep the engine going so you wouldn't freeze to death. You could put blankets and food in the back seat. Oh, and by the way, you could tune the car up, make sure it had good spark plugs, good spark plug wires, all the fluids are topped off, and the computer's up to date. Those are all really smart things to do. If we do similar things to the human body, right, clean the diet up so that we're not we're not stressing the body out every time we eat. We're not putting diesel fuel in an unleaded engine, right? We stop right. eating food that's coming up the works. And we just give the body on a regular basis the nutrients that it needs to strengthen itself, including the immune system, by the way, just one system of the body. Mm -hmm. Then in the face of a viral stress, we're going to be much more able to handle it and you know this is this is as obvious as as the the glasses on my face the people that die from influenza and or this coronavirus are people that were elderly and sick to begin with which begs the well, question which nobody's asking except me why in the united states of america the most successful best, arguably best country on planet Earth ever right, in recorded history. Why in the United States of America do we get sicker the older that we get? Why has life expectancy gotten less and less? Why has the incidence of chronic disease increased? Why is Alzheimer's increasing? Why is autism increasing? Why do people who are elderly have weak respiratory tracts and die from pneumonia like, you know, like flipping a switch, it's not because they're getting older. It's not because they have bad genes. It's because their entire life when they got sick, they treated it with drugs. And when you treat a chronic disease with drug, number one, it doesn't cure it. Nope. Number two, it just manages the symptoms. Number three, it, it sucks your, your nutrient resources, burns right through your nutrient resources, so you get weaker and weaker and weaker, and then, you know, by the time you're 65 years of age, you're on eight different prescription medications. You've got, you know, you've lost all your hair. You've got two hearing aids. You've got uh, fake lenses in both of your eyes. You've got three fused vertebrae in your neck. You've got no gallbladder. You've got uh, two fake knees, two fake hips. You need a prescription medicine to pee, a prescription medicine not to pee, prescription medicine to fall asleep, a prescription medicine to wake up. Etc. 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 And these are supposed to be the golden years. Well, they're not. No. And it's it's simply the wrong approach. It's because it's the wrong approach. And why is it the wrong approach? Well, that you know goes all into the whole monopoly and the the ascendancy of the pharmaceutical industry. And it's it's a crap show. Well, you know, Peter, if you look um, at what's happening with this <laughs> virus around the world, everybody's saying, you know, Italy. What? What? Why? You know why are why are, why is why are the citizens of Italy being hit so hard? Well, there was just a study out that looked at I believe the first twenty percent of folks who died in Italy from quote the virus, and what they found of those th thousands of people who died, there were only three 
who had died who had not had any underlying medical condition to begin with. And it proves your point. As we age, most folks, if you don't follow the, the foundational steps that you've talked about, become undernutrified which makes them vulnerable to any type of insult. The most recent insult is being the coronavirus. Yeah. It's enough to tip people over the top. It's like shoveling your, your sidewalk in front of your house from snow in your bathing suit and bare feet. Yeah. You're going to get hurt if you do that. It's better to bundle up. <laughs> well, the problem is that, that conventional medicine doesn't teach people how to bundle up. It doesn't do it. It doesn't so let's, do bu it. let's bundle people up, Pete. What should folks do from a nutritional standpoint, a holistic standpoint, with a W, holistic <coughs> standpoint, what should they do to bundle up uh, to, if you will, um, fortify their system as protection against the latest insult being this coronavirus, which I'm sure more to come down the line. Yeah, it's, it's, and, and the irony here is that it's so easy to do. I mean, this this is not even funny. So number one, you have to stop eating food that's hurting you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how many nutritional supplements you take or how many miles you run every day or how much yoga you do <laughs> or whatever. If for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're eating food that's inappropriate for the metabolism of your body, it's only a matter of time until something breaks. So that's very important. We've identified 12 foods that nobody should look at, let alone eat, and that that list is available at Operation Freedom Health for free, for goodness sakes, it's called the 12 Bad Foods. Number one, stop those foods. and no, no complaining about it, no whining about it. Don't try to do your own research and figure out whether I'm right or not. Just stop eating those 12 foods, for goodness sakes. Trust me. Number one. Number two, you got to give your body the raw materials that it needs on a regular basis in order to fix itself and optimize its function the way that God and nature intended it. That's accomplished by purchasing something called the Healthy Foundation Pack. And it's a combination of nutritional supplements which provides your body with 100% of its essential nutrient needs in recipes that you can actually absorb and that are useful. And, and that's the key, bioabsorption. Yeah, this is the like, big thing know, people. This just, is the big thing people miss, Pete. A lot, a lot of folks say, you know, I'm eating healthy. Good, I'm glad about. It. I'm eating healthy, and because I'm eating healthy, that's all I need to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's well, not if, true. If that's not that, true. I've got, a, I've got a bridge for sale. No, for that, you, that's right? one of the biggest misnomers around. <laughs> so educate our educate our listeners on why when they say I'm eating healthy, that's enough to get me neutrified to get to the, as opposed to what's in this these foundation packs and how they're if you will, uh, assembled, put together, if you will, to enhance the bioabsorption of those nutrients and minerals. Well, you know, it's, it's, there are um, parallels in other industries, right? Not all chicken soup is the same. Yeah, true. Not all wine is the same, all made from grapes. What's the difference? Well, the recipe, how they're grown, how they're put together, how they're fermented, right? The, the, the raw, raw materials, the ingredients in the chicken soup and how long it's cooked and all these variables. It's the same with medical nutrition. Now, the reason that, so, people like myself, the people that formulated the foundation pack, mm -hmm. it didn't happen overnight. The, the formulation of the ingredients, specifically in their amounts and the form that they're in, took decades of trial and error and research and application and trial and error and research and application. And, you know, it didn't just happen overnight. Yeah, it, it was the, 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 the result of decades of work by licensed naturopathic doctors specializing in medical nutrition to actually develop a superior product. So number one, number two, <clears throat> 66%, two thirds, of your body's nutrient needs, my body's nutrient mm -hmm. needs, our body's nutrient needs are minerals. Things like calcium and, and, and sulfur and magnesium and zinc and selenium. Animals cannot make minerals. True. Plants point, point cannot make minerals. True. Right? Right. I say it once, I've said it a hundred times. Right. If a plant could make a mineral, we could <laughs> bioengineer lettuce right. to make gold. Yeah, true. Right? Yeah, absolutely. 
So the only way that minerals can get into the body is if they're <laughs> in the food. And, you know, because of the way that farmers have been taught to grow food and the, the overuse of pesticides over time and herbicides, the amount of minerals has dramatically decreased in the food. So therefore, it is impossible. It's not just tricky or improbable. It is impossible to get all of the minerals that your body needs just from eating food. You cannot do it. You can get some of the vitamins. You can get some of the amino acids. You can get some of the fatty acids from food. You can get some of the minerals from food, but the lion's share of the minerals, which, you know, 66% of your nutrient needs, it's a big number, they're just not in the food. So supplementation is mandatory. And this, by the way, is why many people, when they smarten up and they follow our advice and they start taking the stuff, they feel a, a dramatic difference mm -hmm. really pretty quickly be, because it's the first time probably in their entire life that their body has been fully mineralized. Um, and that's a really, 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 really big deal. And the foundation, the healthy foundation pack, the, the components of which include these 90 essential nutrients and minerals uh, are, are available on operationfreedomhealth.com. Full disclosure, purchase of uh, those type of products on, our, on the website. Do support this platform so we can continue doing videos of, uh, not only with our nutritional series, but all our videos on YouTube, as well as supporting the radio show. So, so Peter, best advice for folks when it comes from a holistic standpoint, a holistic approach, as it relates to the virus, if you had to kind of cone everything down, foundation is the key. Yeah, the and foundation pack is the key. And unless you've got that, you know, we're we're driving up the mountain with with just air in the tires. Yeah. Right? You know, and that's just not a good idea. So you got to have the foundation there. And this is, by the way, why it's called holistic medicine. Because it's not just one or two supplements. It's kind of a lifestyle, right? you got to change your diet. you got to provide the foundation on a regular basis. And then we do add-ons. And when we do it like that, it's a grand slam every time, man. So the add-ons then for immune strengthening, immune upregulation during times of viral epidemics are easy. It's the Good Herb Super All of Health, uh, Ultimate Selenium, uh, and... By the way, interesting, um, eat or squeeze the juice of half of an organic lemon mm -hmm. into hot water twice a day. Because the, the, the research is clear on this, that vitamin C is very effective against this particular coronavirus and it's attacking the lungs. It's very effective. However... Not all vitamin C's are created equally. And there's a ton of misinformation in the world about this. So right, right. most people in the wonderful world of supplement land, when they say, oh, my supplement has vitamin C in it, their supplement has ascorbic acid in it. Ascorbic acid is different than vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is like a bus. Inside of the bus, there would be people, mm -hmm. and the people would be different biochemicals. For instance, tyrosinase, mm -hmm. right, and mm -hmm. some other things. When you have the ascorbic acid shell plus the other metabolites inside of it, then you have a full, robust, whole food vitamin C. And the easiest way to get whole food vitamin C into your body, probably the least expensive way, I haven't crunched the numbers, is with organic lemons. <laughs> so cut, get a bag of organic lemons, you know, cut a lemon in half and squeeze the juice into hot water. Put a little honey in it if you want. You can add it to tea if you want, if you're a teetotal or a tea drinker, um, twice a day. So one whole lemon twice a day, interestingly, you know, it sounds juvenile, but it's not. It's going to go a long way towards um, giving your immune system of that little extra, little extra protection that it needs. And, you know, bundle up, baby. You got to bundle up here because it's not the virus. 
it's the terrain of the body. It's the strength and or weakness of the body. That is the thing. And this is what you need to focus on. You know, social distancing is great. Washing your hands is great, right? But better is strengthening your body, bundling up. And nobody does that. Well, the washing the hands, the, the, the washing the hands, the social distancing, the, the goal is to reduce the viral load that you come in contact with. But if that viral ro load does hit you by having your immune system bundled up and neutrified and not e eating the bad foods and having some vitamin C on board, as you said, the bus full of people, you know, <laughs> right, the, the lemon juice, you know, uh, that's the best way to protect yourself. I mean, it really is. And this is why, you know, you'll, and this, this is underreported also, by the way, and inquiring minds want to know why. But I would argue that the majority of people who are infected with the coronavirus, it's just, you know, they're sick for like five days and then they're over it. And it was no, kind of no big deal. It's, it's the, the people with compromised lungs, with compromised immune systems, with weak bodies. It's the people shoveling the snow in their bathing suit that are being really hammered by this. And, mm -hmm. Right? It's not like, oh, you get infected by the virus and that's it. It's lights out, game over. You're going to be hammered. It's not that at all. It's how strong is your body. And also, there's misreporting of the numbers. Yes. Not because people are trying to, you know, pull the wool over anybody's eyes, but because it's really hard to track this stuff anyway. For instance, two years ago, the 2018 influenza virus was really bad. And the initial numbers that came out in, in 2019, right after that, mm -hmm. were that 80,000 people died. Right. 80,000 people died. Right. The CDC just adjusted those numbers just last week. Mm hmm. Not 80,000 people that died. Now it's 62,000 people that died. Well, why is that? It's because the, the way that the, the government uses right now to track this stuff is inefficient. It's The testing is loaded with false positives and false negatives. Mm -hmm. Nobody really knows what the hell is going on. So the, you know, the death rate numbers, oh, it's a 1.4% death rate number in the U.S. Well, I'm, I don't know about that. Right. Nobody can know about that because we don't, in point of fact, know how many people have, in fact, been infected with this. And so they should just be up, be up front about that. But they're not because they're trying to peddle this test now, which has, you know, the sensitivity and specificity is unknown going to read you a quote here from one of the uh, 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 Professor Wang Chen, the director of the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences. In February 8th, he said, testing throat swabs from potentially infected people also returns a lot of false negatives. <laughs> so the experts are saying that the tests aren't aren't valid. And you, you so there's a lot of misinformation and misdir misdirecting and fear mongering going on here. I don't know why we could, you know, we could have a conversation about why is all of this happening, but I don't know, but it is happening. Right. And the, the simple fact of the matter is that you don't need to be concerned about this um, unless you're elderly and have weak lungs. Or if you're, you're immunocompromised. If you're in or if you're immunocompromised. Right. And that's what we're addressing. Exactly correct. How how to prevent becoming immunocompromised and how to enhance your immune system. Peter, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. Again, your books, which are on sale till the end of March at Amazon. Everybody is sick, and I know why. An attempt to cure with holistic medicine. That presentation you have with the other physicians will we'll have a link from Operation Freedom Health to your site where folks can sign up for that, for that uh, on-demand viewing of that incredible seminar. Pete, again, thank you again for your time. Thanks for your expertise. Thank you for empowering every person willing to listen and willing to act upon the information. My pleasure, Dave, as always, and keep up the good work yourself. Thank you very much. Folks, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your time. Until next week and next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.